We sometimes do. <laughs> Neil Farrell has always dreamt of owning a restaurant, but in three years since he bought the glass house, his dream has turned into a nightmare. He's deep in debt, so many people are after him for money that he's turned his mobile phone off. He could go mad, and he may even go bust. When it's your own place, and it's your own money, mm. and you're, you're the one that's, you know, yeah. walking the tightrope, yeah. it's, 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 very, it's very different. Yeah. And that's my problem, yeah. that we haven't, we haven't worked out which road we're taking. No, no, sure. okay. At least he's had the sense to call me in for help. But if Neil's going to pull this one out of the fire, he's got to take some tough decisions. <laughs> I can't do that for him, but of course I can encourage him. First stop, the kitchen, to see if the chefs know what they're doing. The head chef's 37 like me. He trained at Claridge's before my time. He's on 25 grand a year, so he'd better be good. About the same amount as you did uh, the other day. Until he says I can call him Gordon, he's Mr Ramsey. How are you Ramsden? He, he thinks that there might be some confusion with Harry Ramsden's. First, I need to watch him cook and see how he runs his kitchen. Everyone's nervous that they're going to call him Mr. Ramsden. <laughs> Morning. Mr. Ramsey, extremely pleased to meet you. Likewise. First name? Richard. Richard. Where do you think it's going wrong? It's a very Truthfully. difficult question. We've been a bit ahead against many a time. What we're doing wrong is should we turn it, turn it into a pizzeria? Is that what people want? It's got to the stage now where I just feel it ain't working and I'm questioning my ability. To control his team and inspire them, the head chef's got to believe in himself. Otherwise, forget it. 